Good afternoon, everyone. Happy election day. I just want to very, very, very stress, please, please, please get out here and vote. Uh, I don't think it's too late to even register. It may or may not be, but however, just try. I have my little cute little, it says I'm cool, I voted. And then I have another sticker that I was, that they gave me. Um, they had like about four different ones to choose from. It says, I voted. So yes, I voted. Um, yes, yeah, so I just want to encourage everyone. Today is the final day of election day. And if you're like me, you're over all the commercials, you're over all of the extra unnecessary mail you have gotten throughout this election. Vote this, vote that, vote this, vote not to do, what not to do. I mean, ring around the rosy. It was just a lot. It was just too much. I mean, there wasn't even no other commercials airing, if y'all know this, during this time. But elections, this person bashing this person, bash, 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 bash. I mean, it was just, just all this bashing. And that's really what I don't like when it's election time. They do so much bashing and, and just throwing people under the bus. I mean, parking the bus on top of them, turning the wheels. I mean, it's just, it just be too much. I be like, my goodness, on the way, I'm kind of glad it's finally here. I'm blessed to be able to see it, another presidential election, because so much have gone on in these last four years. A lot of people have didn't make it to even see this day. So I'm thankful, I'm blessed, and highly favored. And I made it to the polls, and um, I'm back home. My better half, H2B, he got out and voted as well. He asked me, like, hey, where are we going to vote at? I said, it's right around the corner. Next thing I know, he was like, deuces, because I was still in the bed just trying to wake up and for my eyes can dilate and my, my phone was like ringing. Well, not ringing. My text tone was going off. So, I mean, people was like my sister with her early birth. So, good morning, you know, like, so anyway, but um, all of that's fine. So, now I'm, that I got up, I got out, went and voted, everything like that. So, I am, it's like I'm a clothes sticker on, I'm rocking the day. I'm actually wearing my Pepsi shirt. I haven't started putting on my holiday stuff yet. I probably will when it get closer to Thanksgiving. Or before then, I don't know. I'll probably start rocking my little holiday cute little candy canes and my little uh, Christmas stuff shirt. Um, my Home Alone stuff. So that kind of stuff. So y'all you know, see I'm rocking my cute little Pepsi shirt. And um... Meanwhile, I'm wearing blue for obviously the reasons as well. I'm trying to adjust this back. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with it. I just want to stress, stress, stress that please, please get out here and vote, y'all. I'm not even gonna be that long. I might be lying. Who's to say? But I just want to stress, please get out here and vote. It's very important. Your vote does matter. I don't care if you feel like there's nothing to change. We don't have. We 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 have to give people the chance to bring about change so please get out here and vote y'all kudos to those who did the absentee ballots kudos to those who voted early kudos to everybody but me i like to wait till the election day to actually get out and vote you meet a lot of good people in the lines a lot of good people passing you saying you know giving you that nod like you know we on the same team we here so just please i can't stress enough to get out and vote 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 today vote 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 and I am team Kamala. So it is what it is. Yep. Not Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. I think as women, we ought to get her in here because she's a woman. And this will be historical. And I do mean historical. There has never been a woman, a woman president. There's a lot of sexist men out there. I've heard all of the comments about women don't know how to run anything. I'm like, oh my, they sound so sexist saying that. We run a lot of shit that men don't understand. But how every good man, there is a great woman. Believe that. Believe that. Okay? Believe that. We are your rock and we can, and we're your peace. We're supposed to be that and all of that in the above. So, mm -mm. how dare they? It's a lot of sexist men out there that wouldn't believe that even though they may not even agree with the opponent, they might just vote for him because he's still a man. They just don't want a woman to run the country. No, no. But I think even as women out here, 
we ought to get her in there because she's a woman and she just happened to be educated and i'm sorry but she just happened to have the, some of the same pigments in my skin she's she's um she's um you know she's a mixed person but she does have she's considered an african-american woman but she's mixed there's no secret. It was no hidden agenda behind it or anything like that. I don't care what color you are. If you for the right things and you're for the right people, I am for you. I don't care if you was green, tan, blue, black. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to vote for the person I think will fit, who would very fit the shoes that has been given. The torch has been handed. She has, She needs. She's going to light it and she's going to pull through, I believe. And if not, let's give her a chance. Four years is a long time. Let's give her a chance. It takes a lot to get shit in order. It takes a lot to get things in order. Or, you know, or try to get or try to get restore some order. So we let's give her a chance. I mean, give her a chance. I feel like as women, as a woman, we need to just get out here and get, even if you're not for her for real, vote for her any goddamn way because she's a goddamn woman. I mean, as women. I don't care if you're a Trump supporter or not. Just as a woman, you need to be getting out here voting, voting for her. This this presidential election just because she's a woman and she happens to be educated. Hmm. And that intimidates a that intimidates a lot of men and some women out here. But for me, it's like yes, sis, yes, yes, yes. I love it. That's why I was crazy about Michelle about because she happens to be black, beautiful, and educated, and that's scary. That's scary for some people. They can't handle that. I guess they want a president who wife go around uh, repeating what the other president, first lady, said and in one of her speeches. How are you going to repeat somebody else's speech? Bitch, get your own speech together. So, anyway. So, um, uh, that's just my rant about that. And I just want to say I voted and I am team Kamala all the way. So... I was Biden, team Biden, so I'm team Kamala, and it is what it is. So, I uh, we just helpfully, we all stay hopeful. I did see a lot of people coming out when I was leaving. I was seeing a lot of cars pulling up. People was coming and going. Everybody was waving and being very respectful of, it, of one another. No matter who you was voting for, I'll just say, hey, I'm glad to see people getting out and voting. That's my main concern. I don't really know who you're voting for, but just to see you getting out, participating and voting, you get my thumbs up. You get my thumbs up for real, for real. So that's just that. Now, moving on to my neighbors, y'all. I'm about to start. So, people on the stairs have been surprisingly quiet today. Although, I heard them late last night when I was getting up going to the restaurant. They were up just having a conversation, blasting music, you know, typical. I was like, okay, I don't even know what time it is, but I didn't know I'm sleepy. I was out of it. I was just getting up, you know, going to the restaurant. Do, 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 typical thing. So now, it's, this, it's the lady upstairs. I just see her in passing, an older black lady, right? So... I could have gotten a contact off of the reeking of alcohol from her today. Now, I've seen her before, and I really, I don't, I, let me just refer, let me just back up. I don't really, really speak to nobody in this building. If I see some people in passing, and we may say hi, but that's as far as to go. They probably think I'm just a, a, a mean person, which I am not. I just, because, I just, because it be too much going on in this building, so I already be having an attitude. Because y'all are part of the shit, too. It's myself and a new family in this building. We should not to just be exposed to this shit. Because don't nobody know how nobody living here. That's exactly why I'm the way I am. So, yeah, I do be having my face frowned up. And I do be probably having an attitude. Like, don't approach me attitude or whatever. But I'm really not that person. I'm very pleasant and easy to talk to. And that's why people like talking to me. But at the same time, if you can smell shit... Well, I'll walk up to it and look at it, if that makes sense. So, I'm just, I'm just, no. I, like I said, I'm cordial and everything like that, and that's cool. We don't have to come by y'all. We don't have to be best bud neighbors or none of that shit. I don't bother you. You don't bother me, and that's fine. But it just be too much going on in this building for me, period. And and I don't know who she live with, but she be having a lot of motherfuckers in and out of shit, too. Like, I seen her on the porch the other night. 
smoking with some dude smoking cigarettes i'm thinking to myself don't you have a porch upstairs or yo you're gonna come all the way down here and smoke on the front porch when you have a front porch each unit you have your own i keep saying this is not swinging condos everybody had their own little uh domain you do have to share but it's on your side you have your own porch and the porch goes up hold on give me a text and the porch just goes up so you have your own porch but you're gonna come all the way down here to smoke some cigarettes why are you just going to smoke them upstairs? And from looking at your ass, you need not to be smoking anything. Looking like Miss fucking Jane Pittman looking ass and you got nerve to be talking shit about somebody. You what? So today, I'm walking past her. And I had, mind you, I had my headphones on both both ears. My head was down because I was sending people my pictures of my cute little I voted stickers. So I looked up and I seen, I don't know if it's her, 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 her daughters, granddaughters, I don't know. They was coming out, you know, obviously with their clothes, they finna go wash. So I had looked up and I was like, oh, you know, I got out the way. So I saw her coming behind me. She looking at me and she saying something. And then I'm looking at her. So I took my headphone out because I'm, what are you even saying to me? Then she like, oh, I propped the ashtray up in the door. A ashtray in the fucking door. Why would you put an ashtray in the door? A glass one at that. So I propped the ashtray in the door and could you please put it back in there so I can get back in the building, please? I just looked at her. I was I just looked at her and I was just like, all right. So as soon as I open the door, the motherfucker falls. So naturally, what if it would have broke? Then I had to pay you for your ashtray. Why do you have an ashtray propped in the door? Why don't you just find you can find a piece of paper, a stick or something, nothing to prop keep the door open or just prop the door open with the with the bungee thing like everybody else do so you can get back in there? Like you do normally. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just irritated because my ass is unemployed or something. I don't have any income coming in right now. It could just be that. But I say that because to say about her, Miss Jane Pittman, because she had made a comment, and I don't even know if it was about us. It was some somebody had ordered some stuff from the from Dollar General, and I guess it had to be some meat or something in there. So the bags had been on the porch from, I had went to work full eight hour shift, came home, everything in the bags was still on the porch. So we don't bother nobody's shit. So people on the stairs, he gets the bags, they gonna set them on our side of the door, like set them by our door, like if they was our shit. So I took the bags and moved them to the middle of the hallway. Cause don't put this shit over here. These are not our bags. First of all, if we would have inspected any groceries, we would have got our groceries the minute that they were delivered and brought them in. Don't that make sense? Don't set that shit on our side of the door, like our side of the other building, like they are groceries. So I set the damn bags in the middle of the hallway by the, you know, I'll be the way, but by the rail, like in the middle of the hallway. Like this shit don't belong to us. So obviously it must have been some, whatever was in there, it starts stinking. A sour, like, you know, meal do smell. I said, damn, babe, I said something in that bag. It stinks, but I don't want to bother nobody's shit. So I figured these bags have been sitting here for days. So obviously they delivered, they delivered them to the wrong apartment. So it's messed up because people probably needed their groceries and they was without their food. So it was just smelling real bad. I was like, it's starting to stink, whatever, then that bag is stinking. So mind you, before H2B decided to just throw the shit out, which that's what he did, I hear her coming down the stairs like, oh, these people, these people these people but i knew it was her because i seen her when she walked out because when my motion thing went off i seen her when she walked out on my camera and she all like these people oh these people okay who who these people are you talking about that's why i said that's what i'm saying don't come to me with no days and he said and she said because i want to know who the fuck they is who is he and who is she if you're going to be saying that, so now you these people. So who are these people? Are you talking about these people over here or these people in my unit where we stay? So who, make it make it known. Let's address the issue with these people. So ever since I heard her say that, I don't say nothing to her. No way. You know, you know, she did speak to him or whatever. I guess they feel like he, you know, he, he, you know, he be in and out. He might say hi. He like they be talking to him, but. They don't say shit to me, and I, I'm okay with that. We can just keep it that way. So it shows, and then so today, you reeking of alcohol. It was 12.30. I was just like, I looked at my phone like, damn, it's like 12.30, 12.40. You are reeking of alcohol. Like, I could have just got a damn 
contact off of you. You was reeking of it. I was just like, okay. So it's, it's, it's really some characters in this building. I will say that. But I guess it don't matter. As long as you're paying your rent, you staying out the mix, they don't give a fuck. So um, it is what it is for me. I'm just over the bullshit already. I only been here since July, y'all. And y'all know I was excited. But once you get your, once you get in here and start getting the feel of things and start seeing what's really going on, I'm not with the bullshit. I'm just not. I'm not with. I'm not with. I'm just not with certain shit that they doing in here. Like for real, I don't move like that. I don't live like that. So, like I said, I've been keeping my eye on this building behind me, the apartment behind me, because it's away from this building. Like I said. The only thing we will have to really break down to take out of here is my bed. So that's the only thing because everything else, the bed was already, I had never opened it. So the bed was in a box. And when they brought my table in here, that was in boxes. So we might have to, depending on how, I don't know, depending on how they can do this this table because it is glass and I don't want it broken. I don't know because he put the table and all that stuff together. When they when they when the move when when the company brought the stuff in here, um, so the only thing I could see measures we have to break down would be the bed, the bed, and um, cause everything else we kind of can carry, like if we just going across the yard and get up the stairs, unfortunately, but everything else we can just kind of carry. Little stuff will have to be just took down, like the little tile mount in the bathroom. Nothing major. My concern would be my table because it's a glass little table, so. I don't know about why we about to break that down back down. It's the way we can carry it out of here without having to break it down or whatever. So anyway, that's just where I'm at with it. Um, like I said, I like this. I like the way that the unit is cool. It's clean. You know, um, everything in here is new. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm thankful about that. Cause everything in here is like I was telling y'all before. It's, it's been, it was renovated and people say this building was empty. This particular unit was vacant for a very long time. Like it sat empty for a long time. And since they know, I now I know they redoing the one in the back. I definitely want in and dibs on it because, and it looked like it might be a little bigger as well. Um, so the only thing I will have to do is change my address from a two to a seven because I'm in unit two and change it to apartment seven which was in the back so and move you know like I said with little shit none of the major move the cameras to where we are you know to the back and you know I'm sad simple as that anyway that's where I'm at with it y'all um I just wanted to chime in and say that but y'all make sure y'all please get out here and vote the, the polls too close tonight at eight just get out here and vote. It went fairly quickly. It was it wasn't a long, long line. People kind of in and out, you know, getting their vote on in and out, getting their little stickers, and you know that was that. So just please, y'all get out here and vote. The lines do move quickly, but just get out here and vote. That's just my two cents. Happy election day. Peace out, y'all.